hello coders i hope you are coding well in the previous video we created the search products by name feature in our front end application and we created the full stack delete product api in today's video we will create the order and cart items entity in our backend application so let's get started to start we need to create the order status enum so we can store different type of statuses in our order and we can right click on this enum package and here we need to choose new java class and we can name this as order status and this should be an enum in this order status enum the first status we want is pending which will represent the active cart and after that we want a status of placed and after placed we want a status for shipped and after the status of shipped the last status will be delivered that's it for our order status enum now let's right click on this entity package and here we need to create an other java class and let's name this class as order we need to annotate this class with at the rate entity annotation after entity we need the annotation for data and after data we need the annotation for table and let's name this table as orders in this order entity first of all we need to mention private long id and let's annotate with the annotation of at the rate id and after the id annotation we need to give the annotation for generated value and let's set the strategy and generation type should be identity after the order id we need to store the description for the order so we can write a property of type string and let's name this as order description after order description we need to store the date and for that we can create a property of type date and let's name this as date let's import the date class after date we need to store the total amount of the order and for this we can store along and let's name this as amount after amount we need to store the address of the user and for that we can write a private string address after address we need to store the payment details of the user and after payment we need to store the order status and we can use here our enum after order status we need to store the total amount of the order and for this we can write private long total amount in this property we will store the total amount of the order and in this property we will store the amount after applying the coupon code and discount after the total amount of the order we need to store the amount of discount and for this we can write private long discount after discount we need to store private uuid and let's name this as tracking id we will generate an automatic id to track the order after this we need to store the user details in this order and for that we can create a relation of this order with the user and this will be a one to one relation and for cascade i am choosing cascade type dot merge and after this we need to give the annotation for join column and for the name i will write user underscore id and for a referenced column name we will write id after the relationship with the user we need to store private and list of cart items and let's name these as cart items 
and the relationship type for these cart items will be one to many because one order can have many cart items in it after this let's create this cart item entity in the entities package and for this class we need to annotate this with entity and data annotations for cart items we need to store long id and let's annotate this with at the rate id and at the rate generated value after id we will store the price of the item and we will store the quantity and after quantity we need to build relationship of this cart item with the product and for that we can write private product and the relationship type will be many to one and after this we will add annotation for join column and in the name we need to write product underscore id after join column annotation we need to add the annotation for on delete and i am choosing on delete action dot cascade after the product relation we need to create the relation with the user and we can copy these annotations from product and we can paste here and we need to update this from product underscore id to user underscore id after this we need one reverse relation to the order and for that we can write private order and the relationship type will be one to one and for the fetch type i am giving lazy after this we need to give the join column annotation and in the name we need to write order underscore id that's it for our cart items and order entity now let's go to the repositories and let's create the order repository here we need to choose the java class and let's name this as order repository and this should be an interface let's add the annotation of at the rate repository and let's extend this class from jpa repository and let's mention the entity here which is order and after entity we need to mention the primary key data type which is long let's import this now let's copy the name of order repository and let's create the object of this order repository here in the auth service implementation and we will use the auto wide annotation and here in the auth service implementation while we are creating a new user we need to create the cart for the new user so in this create user method we need to create a new order let's name this as order and in this order we need to set the amount to zero and after amount we need to set the total amount and after total amount we need to set the discount to zero after discount we need to set user so we can call dot set user method and here we can pass our created user and after user we need to set the status of the card that should be order status dot pending so we can add the items in this card and after this we need to call order repository dot save and we will pass our order here so whenever we are creating a new user one card will be automatically created for that particular user with the status of pending let's run our application As you can see, our application is up on port 8080 and in the logs, we can see that two tables got created. One is orders and the other one is cart underscore items. That's it for this video. In the next video, we will create the dashboard for the user and we will create the API.
to add the items in the cart